the original toaster versus the NES2 top loader. Now I recently just did a video showing the different variations of the NES hardware and in that video I did touch upon the NES2 top loader. I mentioned that its RF picture quality isn't as good as the original NES and also it lacks the AV composite video output of the original NES. Now a few people in that video asked me you know how bad is the picture quality really um, they want to get an NES2 top loader but they're worried about these vertical lines that they've heard about now I prefer the original toaster myself but I can understand their point of view they don't want to deal with you know having to clean or replace the 72 pin connector and cutting out the Ted Ness chip they just want their NES to play the games and at the same time, if they don't want to, uh, you know, take out and clean or replace the 72-pin connector, they're not going to want to do an AV mod to the top loader. Yes, you can do an AV mod to the top loader, but it's not a simple mod. I'm going to use this composite AV cable coming off the top loader NES directly into my TV tuner card, and I'm going to capture that video. And then to make this as fair as possible, I'm not going to use any switch box. I'm not going to use an automatic RF switch box. I'm going to put this adapter here right on the end of this composite video cable and then we're going to screw this directly onto the back of the TV tuner card tune in through channel 3 like we normally would and then I'm going to put those videos side by side and we're going to compare them. Alright so here we go we have the original toaster style NES on the left and we have the NES2 top loader on the right. Probably the first thing you're going to notice right away is just the difference in the colors. Um, I actually prefer the colors on the original NES on the left. Uh, you'll also notice as we zoom in a little bit closer here um, just the overall sharpness of the picture. As you would expect, going through RF on the top loader, the NES2 on the right, there is a little bit more uh, interference and noise on that signal. Um, you've got the, the video signal and the sound going through one cable, okay? So you're going to get a little bit more interference. Another thing I'm going to point out now is the vertical lines. And if you've heard anybody talking about the NES2 top loader, you've probably heard them talking about the vertical lines. Okay, I'm going to zoom in even further on a still here to show you exactly what we're talking about. You look in the sky and you can clearly see that there's columns, vertical columns, running through the sky. Uh, it's very strange. I'm not sure exactly why that's there, but that's in every NES2 I've ever seen. And you'll hear people complain about that when talking about the NES2. So obviously there's something in the video signal. Um, you know, the filtration's not as good or just the uh, the shielding's not as good. There's some sort of interference in the image and uh, it gives you those vertical lines. And I think with the side-by-side -side, you can see there's definitely a difference. I prefer the original toaster style NES. To me, it's just the classic. It's the original and it's it got a better picture. That's really what it comes down to. It's got a better picture quality. But um, like I said, some people do not want to deal with the uh, the front load mechanism. They don't want to have to change or clean the 72 pin connector. Um, and it's true, I mean the top loader, generally speaking, is going to give you better performance uh, trying to you know start your games up. So hmm, I think that's a choice that you have to make. Um, you can maybe try and look and see if you can find a uh, top loader to NES that's already been AV modded. It's obviously going to cost you a lot more, but that's kind of what you're going to have to deal with. And your other option is clones. You guys don't know I don't like clones, but I mean, truth is, most of the clones will probably give you a better picture than what this NES 2 does, and you'll have composite AV out. So I guess those are your choices. Uh, the cheapest option, of course, buy a clone. Um, if you don't mind clone hardware, you'll get composite video with, you know, decent quality. Next option, of course, buy an actual original toaster. They're really easy to find. You can probably find one that maybe has already had the 72 pin connector cleaned and the 10 nest chip cut on it. You could probably find that still cheaper than you'll find the top loader. The NES2 top loader 
is a lot less common. So when you do eventually find one, it's probably going to be a lot more money than what you could have bought a toaster for. Um, another option, actually, is you could buy an AV Famicom. But once again, that's going to cost you a lot more still. If you can manage to find an AV Famicom from Japan and the adapter to play NES games on it, then you'd have a pretty decent uh, rig there with uh, AV output built right on. So anyways, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, if you were looking to get an NES2 top loader and you were worried about the picture quality, then I hope this demonstration um, helps you make up your mind if you still want one or not. And of course, if you do still want one, then at least you know what to expect. Uh, so yeah, see you guys later.